everybody. <laughs> hello, Squid. Hello, Beckett. Hello, Ico. Hello, Crib Crim. Hello, Luis. How are you all? <laughs> uh Iko, what's up? Why is war a thing? And you know exactly why, Luis. <gasps> oh! I see Annihilate Co. So you know what that means? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've immediately just like countered the redeem. Let me like pop over here real quick because I still need to like pop into stream chat. There we go. Now I should be on screen. <laughs> oh. Everybody woke up in a mood today, <laughs> and I am all for it. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm horny! I'm horny! Thank you. <laughs> there you go. I said it as well, Faye. <laughs> nice. 
nice. Also, I'm waiting to see if you notice something, Squid. Because I did something last night. <laughs> I'm slowly like going through some of these. And I know like the more people, the more people that uh, start talking, the more I can like do that. So I'm more than happy to. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm, I'm slowly getting around to uh, adding more and more people to the VIP list that pop in more frequently. So like, uh, I forget how many it takes for like the next batch of VIP badges, but it's interesting. But yeah. Oh. Well, hopefully you can enjoy the rest of your day, June. E. Yeah, lots of hugs for June. <laughs> Faye, you asked to be mod. You wanted the sword. You asked to have the sword! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's good to see you all today. That is true. Uh... Yeah, thank you all for being here. I had a very, very good time last night. It, w it was good to get to hang out. Just happy to be here. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm happy, is like, everybody else had a good time as well. Like, we, we all learned a little bit. That was good. So I like getting to hang out with all, with all of you. I like getting to know you all a little better. Yee. It's like, that's... I know I, I've probably said it a few times in the past, but one of the core pillars for me is uh, making sure that I get to know my friends, get to hang out. Because, like, as a lot of you know, anyone that streams and is a friend, or does art and is a friend, and pops into the, uh, into the chat, you get shouted out. Because I love my friends. And I love supporting my friends. I'm also gonna do this again. Because I can. <laughs> so yeah. Exactly. You gotta gotta love all of the friends. <laughs> exactly. Everybody gets appreciated here. Cause 
it's like I'm happy that I'm able to do this. And it makes me happier that I get to share it with all of you. switch screens over to uh, to this and give you a little uh, a little peek at what we're gonna start off with Boop. as you can tell <laughs> it's not a hot dog video squid move this just a little bit because I'll have to uh, close that. I have to like turn the volume down just a little bit. Avocados are a healthy part of your there diet, but which kitchen gadgets are worth getting? The first utensil we're going to look at is this one. I start by removing it from the packaging, and you can see we've got this really cool looking contraption. <laughs> the top bit here actually squeezes together to adjust yeah, we're to start, we're starting off avocado. strong. And at the bottom here, we've got this stainless steel blade, which we can use for cutting the fruit. So take an avocado looks... and use the blade to cut it neatly around the center, like this. Once you've opened this it up, you can use the utensil I'll be to honest. the stone. There's these sharp teeth in the drawer of the gadget. They grip the stone really firmly, and with a little twist, we can pull it out of the fruit. Also, Next, again, we can use calling the it a the stone. To cut in between the fruit and the skin. You can adjust it's it to pit. different sized avocados, and it's a nice smooth action, which feels like it's cut it really well. So let's take a look. I'm turning it out onto this chopping board, and we've got a perfectly peeled half avocado. If you want to, before you scoop it out, you can use the blade to make some slices in the avocado, like this. I'm also turning it 90 degrees and cutting it this way too, to make some cubes. Then I use I the mean, hoop to it scoop is, it, it out is the skin, technically a seed. And I'm turning it out onto this plate. And again, it's, it's worked really it's well. Like I'm a, impressed. If we take a look like at the empty skin, you can see it's removed nearly all of the pit. fruit and left very little behind. The next gadget we're going to look really at is, this one. is The hoop at the top isn't adjustable, and it can only be used for slicing. There is a blade at the front for cutting the avocado in half, and it's got this clever section here for removing the stones. To use it, we push it down on top of the stone and give it a little twist. And you can see it sticks into the gadget. Then just push it out with your finger through the hole on the other side. So that seems incredibly it dangerous. It works in a similar way to the last one, where we kind of scoop it in between the skin and the fruit. It's a little bit tricky, but when you turn it out, also, you've got these amazing correct me if I'm wrong. Of avocado. And if but you look at the leftover skin, it has done isn't a really the good avoc job of isn't it avocado Isn't avocado not a, a fruit? Left behind. Next, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool avocado rose. Remove half an avocado from the skin and place it on a chopping board. Then carefully slice it really nice and thinly from one it end all the way to the other. Huh. Don't worry if it's a little bit messy. Next, we need to splay it out into a long, thin, staggered line. You can clean up any messy bits. Then, starting from the one end, roll it up you know, like this. Fair enough. That's Try really to keep weird, it all though. Relatively tight, and work your way down the line all the way to the other end. Then open it up a bit. And yeah, fruits are petals. weird. And there's our avocado rose. Stay tuned because we'll be using this later in a recipe. The next kitchen gadget we're going to use is this dicing utensil. It works that with half an avocado. Does not so look once like... you've chopped one through and removed the stone. Take your gadget and push it down. See how much easier that is just like using a fucking easy. knife and to get rid of it. it. As far as it'll go. To separate it from the skin, give it a little twist, then we should be able to lift the utensil away from the skin. And the fruit stays inside the cage. Pretty cool, huh? I'm just tapping it out onto this chopping board, and you can see it's actually worked really well. It's cut the pieces but, neatly, and I'm trying it again. But why, though? It cuts through the fruit perfectly, and it's easy to remove it from the utensil. And if we have a look to see what's left on the skin, you can see it's really not done a bad job. You can also use a cooling rack to cut an avocado. Just sit it on top of a bowl, then take <laughs> yeah, your avocado, exactly. place it upside down on top of the cooling rack, and push down on it to squeeze it through. 
because this cooling rack is made up of squares, it's cutting Yeah, literally, into there the are there use. are things that you already have in your kitchen that you can use. Then give the rack a little tap to remove any pieces of that are stuck things. off. And there we are, our little cubes of avocado. And looking at the skin this time, we've pretty much completely removed all of the fruit. It does work well. Next, I'm going to show you a really cool life hack to speed up the ripening process of an avocado which isn't quite soft yet. Take some tin foil and wrap the avocado up in it. Then put it in an oven dish and place it into an oven at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Exactly, That's it's like about 90 degrees Celsius. Guacamole is really not that hard to make. The gas which surrounds it and speeds up the ripening process. Exactly. After about 10 minutes, take it out. Standard and kitchen leave utensils it are much more rack. efficient. Once it's cool, remove the foil. Then you can carefully cut it in half, remove the stone, and you should find it's now soft, ripe, and perfect for eating. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? But that's the thing, Aiko. Like, it's like these avocado storage pods. Here's a spoon. We'll start with this one. It's basically just a container with a removable top and shaped a bit like an avocado. But and the idea is, if you're only eating half an avocado uh, and saving the rest for later, you can place the other half inside here, flat side down, thank you, Switch. and put on I the lid. That. Having it flat side down should stop the air getting to it, so it'll keep it fresh and stop it turning brown. Unfortunately, if you want to take it to work or something, you definitely have to keep it the right way up, because a smaller avocado like this will just roll around if it's yeah, stuck on its side also, or anything. Looking at this, but let's take a look at why this make something for just a single up, fucking avocado? To unclip them, and you've got the base plate similar to the other one. But who, the, who, I just want to know how many membrane. people, when you buy it's an really avocado, scratchy. do you just buy the one avocado? We place the avocado on the bottom, we fit the top section, and the flexible Serious question. keeps the avocado in contact with the base the whole time. It holds it firm. It can't roll around, even if it's too That looks like a condom. Down. I'm, I'm going to really be blunt idea. with you. I it looks like a condom. For 24 hours, then took them out to see how they look. So looking at the first one, it's actually looking pretty good. <laughs> oh There's a little bit of moisture on the fruit, <laughs> and it has browned ever so slightly <laughs> near the bottom. And if we take a look at the uh... other half, once I'd opened it up, you can see it's actually pretty much exactly the same. There is a little bit of moisture on the fruit and a tiny bit of browning near the bottom. I do wonder whether the oh, fruit was. They don't even look like they were that effective! So there was a little bit of air getting to it. But it's done really well, and I didn't even use any lemon juice. If you wanted to, you could just remove this little bit of browning, then it's ready to eat. Next, I'm going to try out this extra large avocado to oh, see how well the case is so Trying it with the first case, and it's actually too big. I wouldn't even be able to fit on the lid. That's a shame. It does just fit on the base of the other one, and I can attach the top to hold it all firmly in place. Right? The next gadget we're going to look at is this avocado masher. I removed it from the packaging. You can see it's got the masher on the bottom and this hoop at the top. This is obviously for removing the fruit from the skin. So let's give it a go. It cuts through and removes easily, and I can scoop any extra out. Just... Then I'm turning it around to try out the masher. Yeah, like literally just, good just use a fork. Mashing, the avocado is pretty soft, but the tool does feel a little bit flimsy. It's like... I'm scooping out the other half too, and I'm going to be using this for a recipe. Once I'd finished mashing, I cleaned it off and gave it a wash. Then, under inspection, it had actually become a bit bent. You can see it's pretty soft metal, and it does bend easily. I think you'd have to mash extremely uh... softly not to bend it. Now, here's a masher which isn't necessarily designed for avocados, but I really do like it. <laughs> it's like a conical spring, and when you push down on it, it mashes whatever's underneath. And I'm going to try it out with a large avocado, so I'm exactly. using this gadget to remove the stone hey, and scoop Hi. out the fruit. And I'm turning it out onto a chopping board so we can see how the masher works. This is... Just oh, push down you, nice and firmly. And it squeezes it all up through the coil. It, literally, this is the up, thing he was using for the fucking egg. This is literally the fucking thing he was using for the egg We're and the potatoes. Holy, so he used I it for potatoes the too! Into a bowl and <laughs> mashed that up too. Then I added the stuff from the chopping board. The mashers got this built in really handy. Yeah, that thing just looks so and I'm also annoying the to avocado clean. that we made before. Then dice just... up half a red onion and add it in. <laughs> I'm chopping up two tomatoes, and when these are cut nice and finely, <laughs> add them in too. Chop Thank a lime in half. Okay, I'm it. curious. What what is he gonna do for the guac? In. 
Then finally add some salt, chili flakes, and a little bit of pepper. Mix it all there together. You go. And there's our Thank delicious you homemade them. guacamole. And we're going to serve it with this avocado rose we made earlier. I'm using the rose as a centerpiece and spooning the guacamole all the way around it. Then make a ring of nachos around the edge. And we've got Wait. this amazing whoa, whoa, guacamole whoa, whoa, and whoa, nacho whoa. platter. Whoa, Perfect hold, for a party. hold up. Hold up. Okay, first thing, my uh, my internet had a... Uh, that was my internet. Secondly, I want to go back just a second. So, like, if you need to refresh, uh, you should probably do so. That That was definitely my internet. <laughs> 